Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Emilio, I'm coming to you guys from S2 Recovery Studios uh, with today's uh, devotion. And today's devotion is out of the book of James, chapter 2, verses 14 through 17. Let's dive in. What good is it, my brothers, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. To sum up those verses, faith without works is dead. What good is it for me to have the ability to help a brother or sister in need in my pocket, whatever it may be, but I just tell them, I'll pray for you. Not that praying for someone isn't wrong. That is praying for someone's wrong. And by all means, that's definitely not the case. Pray, right? But if God's giving you the ability to further his kingdom through your action that he has put in your heart to follow through with, and you've ignored that, what good is that? There has to be works involved in your faith. We can't just sit back on our lazy boy recliner and think that, you know, our, our faith is, is, is going to move mountains sitting back in our recliner, right? But it has to be work involved. You have to put, <laughs> what, what is it they say when you're looking for work? You have to pound the pavement, right? You have to pound the pavement of the world with the faith that God has given you. You have to go out there and go among them, right? So that they're able to see your faith. You have to work it out. You have to show it. It's no good to just keep it hidden. Does this show up on the screen? Right? There's a lamp here. That lamp's off. It's not going to shine any light if it's down there, is it? Same thing with our faith. Why would we just keep our faith hidden? It's silly. We have to show our faith. We have to practice it. The idea is that the, the more we walk like Jesus, the more people are going to ask us, what's up with you? And that's the whole thing, is being a mouthpiece for the kingdom, being a walking bulletin board, if you will, for Christ's kingdom, through your actions, the things you say, the things you do, and the things that you don't do, right? The things that you don't do as well speak volumes of what Christ has done in your life. When you're not engaging in certain behaviors or certain gossiping, right? People are going to try to figure out why you didn't participate in that if it was so funny. We didn't participate in that because it was something that doesn't make God smile. And it's something that this book tells us to not do. So today, put your faith to work. How? Something simple. Speaking of God's goodness. Sharing the gospel with someone, even sharing part of your testimony with someone, whatever that looks like, just do it, do it. Let's go ahead and pray out. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity. Lord, I pray that for any of those who may be watching this, Lord, I pray that today or tomorrow, Lord, you put someone in their path so that they are able to share their faith with that person so that they are able to walk with that person and speak of your goodness and of your redemptive love lord i pray that you strengthen our faith we pray that you strengthen our faith lord so that we could be more like you so that we could be more like you lord and just so that the things that we do bring you honor and bring you glory lord we love you lord we thank you for this day be with us throughout this day it's in your name we pray amen have a beautiful rest of your day ladies and gentlemen take care we'll be here love y'all <laughs>